Duplicating a tire pressure sensor with the Wells Programmer always begins with entering in the vehicle's information. After the vehicle's information has been entered, a screen appears with three options. Select New Sensor, like this. After selecting New Sensor, three more options appear. Auto Duplicate, Manual Duplicate, and Program Blank Sensor. In this video, we're going to be discussing Manual Duplication, so select this option. Remember, it is necessary to remove the original tire pressure sensor from the wheel in order to perform manual duplication. Manually duplicating a tire pressure sensor is commonly used when an OE or original equipment sensor has become electronically unresponsive. After we've selected manually duplicate on our tool, we're given two options, OE, ID locator, and input ID. Most OE sensors will typically have a sensor ID number somewhere on the body of the sensor. Our Wells Programmer includes illustrations to help define that number. By selecting OE ID Locator, a list of sensor manufacturers is shown. Remember, this is not the vehicle manufacturer, but the manufacturer of the sensor itself. Most manufacturers will list their names somewhere on the sensor. The sensor we have here today is a Schrader sensor. So by scrolling through our list of manufacturers, we select Schrader and press Enter. Upon pressing Enter, you can see there are two illustrations here showing where the sensor ID number is located on this specific sensor. Once the OE sensor's ID number has been retrieved, press Escape twice on the tool to get back to the manual duplicate screen. Select Input ID Number. On some vehicles, there's going to be two options listed here, a DEC and an HEX option. The DEC option is for sensor ID numbers that only use decimals. The HEX option is for sensor ID numbers that use decimals and letters. After selecting one of these two, it's now time to enter in our sensor's ID number, like this. We have 8, 8, 4, 6, 0, B, 5, 3. After entering in the sensor's ID number, it's now time to put our new sensor into the programmer's cradle and lock it in place. After it's locked in place, press enter on the programmer to program the new sensor. The tool will erase any previous data in it, program the new information to it, and verify. Upon successful completion, the tool beeps twice. We're now ready to install our new sensor into the tire.